In this demonstration, we're going to show you how to pair our Bluetooth microphones like the Interceptor or the Nighthawk to a Harris radio. This is an XG75. They also have the 25 series. And on these radios, they do not have built-in Bluetooth. So we do provide our own Bluetooth adapter. This is the adapter here. It's called the BTD28. It's Bluetooth, but you could also connect wired units to it. So we're gonna go through that process. So the first thing you do is connect the adapter to the radio, it has these two notches on top, and it also has a set screw on the side here, and it has like a quarter twist, and that's it, it's already on. Uh, like the rest of our adapters, you press and hold the power button, which is also your pairing button, and you turn on the radio at the same time. So you turn on the radio, you keep on holding the button until the LED is going to flash blue and red. So that's your standard protocol for Bluetooth pairing. There you go. Now on the microphone itself, the power button also is your pairing button. So I'm going to press and hold on the Nighthawk, the power button here, until the LED is going to flash blue and red as well. So you keep on holding and you're going to see the light there start to flash. Now, when both of these turn blue, then the pairing is complete. Also, what happens is that the LED on the adapter turns clear. There's no light at this point because, again, we don't want any blue flash giving you away at night. So it's kind of a fail-safe for whoever's using the system. Also, the LED on the microphone will go dormant as well at this point, even when you push to talk. So I'm going to push your talk and you can hear out of the transmit radio the transmission going through. So it's a very simple process, uh, but again, do not get alarmed by the LED not powering up every time you push the, the, the push to talk button. But you will see the transmit key button on the radio itself, so you know that there's transmission going through. Okay, so if you power down the radio, and then power down the microphone, we're going to turn it back on and see how it's going to link together without having to go through the pairing process. And sometimes the link can take maybe 10 or 15 seconds, so again, don't be alarmed by the time. So we're going to go ahead and power up the radio. We're going to power up the microphone as well. And then we're going to see if there's a link. And you could also tell by that little click. So if you do a quick check, you see the light turning solid on the microphone. So now again, you do have a solid transmission because you see the key light on the radio. So that's the process for pairing the system. The volume can be adjusted two ways, either by the microphone, by pressing and holding the plus button or press and hold the minus button to lower the volume or on the radio itself. It's important to find that balance so there's no feedback. Here's another fail safe with the adapter we created. Let's say the power runs out on the microphone or there's some kind of interruption. So I'm gonna turn off the microphone. Now when I do that, it allows you to get right back to the radio to transmit and receive without having to remove the adapter from the radio. So that's another fail safe that we created. Now at this point, you can not connect a wired microphone. So with our system here, there is an arrow on the adapter itself and on the cable. So you find arrow to arrow and you just basically snap in the microphone and now you could talk through the microphone to the transmit radio. So that's another way that you could use this system with a wired or wireless unit. And that's it for the pairing process for the Harris radio. Thank you for watching.